Initially, Hitler did incredibly well. I mean, his Blitzkrieg, incredible. If he had stopped with the Anschluss, where he gets Austria and he's going to take Czechoslovakia, and then he says, oh, I'm uniting the German people. If he had quit right there, he would have gotten away with it and probably be considered a brilliant leader by Germans. But then hubris, right? The Blitzkrieg worked so well, his generals told him he couldn't do it, but of course it, it, it worked. And then he goes further and overextends, et cetera. When you look at what you think are great generals on the Western side, they are great generals, but their success has to do with a whole whole lot of other people. Think about it. If we hadn't broken the codes, which is the British helped us do that, and the Poles who brought out various Enigma machines and other things, would it have turned out the same? If you don't have Henry Ford, who's turning his cars into tanks, and the people who built Liberty ships, would it have been the same? If you do not have scientists doing the Manhattan Project, would it have been the same? And think about the enormous mobilization with the United States, where Americans are all on board, and in Britain, and all over. We tend to personify it as the general. It ain't so. It's everybody.